Really, the past week has uh, been the best individual workouts that I've ever been associated with. Uh, we've been inside a few times. Uh, we actually had to go inside Saturday morning at 6 a.m. over at Next Level. And, you know, you always worry about having those early morning practices. Are you really going to get out what you need to get out of there? And uh, our guys have been really focused and, you know, really uh, on edge to get out there and compete against each other. You guys have really learned how to win last year. You know, you've got a championship under your belt now. How does it change the mindset of, of your people, you know, coming into this season? What's their attitude like and, you know, what does that do for you? Well, I think they expect to win. You know, this group is really confident, almost teetering on the verge of overconfidence at times. And, you know, as a coach, you always want to keep them grounded, but at the same time have confidence. So it's a really fine line. Uh, this group has confidence, confidence from last year. I mean, they won, you know, won 40 games, won a conference championship, went to a regional. Uh, they've won off the field, you know, 3.42 team GPA this fall. Uh, which is unheard of in college baseball. I've coached all over the country, and the highest team GPA I've ever been associated with is a 3.2. So we had 28 out of 34 guys uh, have a 3.0 or better, which is remarkable uh, when you have you know 34 guys on our team like we do. Coach, what's the chemistry of the team like last? I mean, this year, last year, you know, you guys, we, we were, we've heard the quote, it wasn't the most talented team, but you guys strung together all those comeback wins and you stole wins and. Um, there was that energy in the locker room that really helped, you know, guided you guys to some of those W's. What was it like this year? It's the same. You know, I think the older guys, you know, have 17 returners. Uh, they've done a great job transitioning the 17 newcomers into our program and what our expectations are on the field and off the field. And, you know, culture wins. Uh, I'll preach that to, you know, to the day that they tell me I can't coach here anymore. And uh, we believe in that. We believe in it 24-7, and our guys take pride in it. Coach, you touched on out of the 17 newcomers, you know, who's kind of stood out to you or what have you kind of noticed from that group? Well, it's a, it's a unique group. Uh, they brought a lot of athleticism position player-wise, uh, a lot of more team speed, a lot of more depth on the pitching uh, pitching staff. You know, last year this time you were like, hey, man, I don't know if we're going to have enough pitchers to, uh, you know, finish five games, you know, when we have those in a week. But this year the newcomers have provided some depth on the mound. What's Coach. the big difference for you coming into this year as a coach? Uh, you know, last year this time we were looking at Evan Krasinski and uh, he had thrown one inning and uh, we're expecting him to be a weekend starter and Jacob Wolf had thrown seven and two thirds and we're looking for him to be a weekend starter and nobody knew who Joe Engel was. So uh, definitely there's more stability in the pitching staff this year. Last year, like I said, there was a lot of unknowns. So definitely we know a lot about a lot more about our team this year than we did last year. Coming second year in the American, what did you learn about the conference last year? It's one of the toughest conferences in the country. You know, I've coached in the SEC. The American last year was third in the nation RPI-wise. Uh, you could play your best baseball and still lose at times, and uh, it's going to be a very tough conference. A lot of teams are preseason ranked. You know, Houston's in some preseason rankings. Tulane is in some preseason rankings, and it's going to be as good, just as good as last year, if not better. Talk about your non-conference schedule this year. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. So, you know, we open up with Longwood here on the weekend. Then we go to UVA, the defending national champion. We go up to Charlottesville the second weekend, come back for the Keith LeClaire Classic, and we have Southeastern Louisiana, Tennessee, and Maryland. And then we go on the road to Rice. So, you know, really the first month of the season is going to be very challenging for our guys. But our guys, like I said, they're ready to play good competition, and our, and our, our schedule will definitely give them that. Coming off the championship, what kind of response have you seen on the recruiting trail getting some of the you know, top guys out there? Right. Well, first off, you know, a lot of people ask me that, and, and definitely it has not hurt us. But, um, you know, coming in and you're selling East Carolina University, uh, you're selling a new coaching staff. A coaching staff has a proven track record of developing guys. You know, Coach Rosell's put nine guys into the major leagues in his coaching career. Jeff Palumbo is one of the best recruiters in the country. And, you know, uh, I've been lucky enough to be an assistant coach on two teams who have been to Omaha. So I don't think that we've had to twist a lot of arms to get them to come here because East Carolina has a lot of great tradition in the baseball program. I know that shortstop, you're having to replace Hunter, but kind of personnel and offense, is it, is it pretty decided? I mean, not decided, but I mean, is there still some battles you think are going to go on the next few weeks? Or are you pretty comfortable with kind of where positions are and depth charts and stuff? There's a lot of battles going on. You know, I mean, it, that's daily. You know, that's the good thing about this team is we have options when last year we didn't have a lot of options. So, um, you know, Travis Watkins is going to be our starter ca starting catcher, uh, but Eric Tyler is going to catch some. At third base, uh, Kirk Morgan and Eric Tyler would be the front runners there. Uh, one of those two guys, you know, Eric can play everywhere. So I could mention him pretty much at every position, but I'll try to not mention his name for every position. Shortstop, 
will be between uh, Turner Brown, who's a freshman from Whiteville High School, and then Wes Phillips, a junior college transfer. Second base, uh, Charlie Jorgen, and then Kendall Ford, who is a uh, transfer from a junior college as well. Uh, we played Charlie at third a lot this fall just to get him used to there. So if we needed to move him to third um, to get him over there, we could do that. First base, Bryce Harmon um, is going to be the main option there, but Kirk Morgan can play some first base. Drew Prescott can play some first base as well. Uh, we can move some of those infielders around. Uh, right field, Jeff Nelson uh, right now uh, would be the guy that would start out there. Um, Garrett Brooks in center. Uh, Parker Lamb and left, but then you got two freshmen, uh, Justin Dearden from St. Louis and Dewanye Williams Sutton from Wilson, and those two guys will push guys. And then we also have guys who can go out to the outfield like Eric Tyler um, and some other guys. But uh, you know, we're really looking forward to having those battles in the preseason, so we can see the the cream rise to the top. Um, I just try to be a spark plug um, on and off the field. Try to do the right things. Um, try to lead by example. Um, that's what we that's what we do here and strive for. Well, I think um, most of our guys stayed here this summer and really uh, worked in the weight room with Blaine Kinsley. We had a great strength coach. We all got stronger and uh, put on weight, but we maintained our speed and stuff. So we put on weight, got stronger, and we're still just as fast as we were. So I think that's, that's an improvement that we made this offseason. I think last year we had a very success successful year, but I think uh, this year we have a lot more in store. I mean, we, we're returning so many guys. We lost big guys like uh, Reed Love and Luke Lowry, but uh, just our junior class and the seniors we have, the leadership that they present are for our team, I think that there's just so much more in store for this year and uh, hopefully we can uh, translate that onto the, onto the field. I'm excited to see what we can do and see how we match up against them. I mean, we faced some great lineups last year. I mean, Houston, Tulane, all some top-notch lineups that could compete for an Omaha spot anytime. And I think getting to a regional last year and having that experience is going to help all of us that played in the regional. And having that experience and passing it down to the freshmen this year is going to be big. Going in deep, like runs to the playoff, whatever. So I think it's all going to be a great experience for us.